What's up everybody? It's your girl back for another video. Wanted to make a video on something um, that I notice all the time. I've made uh, past videos about it, but women today are very, very superficial and insecure. And I've talked about this in a few of my past videos, but it's a common uh, issue and it's a constant issue. So, um, I noticed today in these times that women are more insecure, more broken, and more superficial than ever before. And I wasn't alive back in the day, but I know how my grandmother was. I know how my great grandmother was. I knew them. So I have an idea of what women were like in those generations. And women from those generations tended to be um, more secure with themselves, stronger, um, happy, you know, with themselves and perfectly fine with being a stay at home mother, taking care of their children, taking care of their husband. They didn't feel um, incompetent. They didn't feel, um, you know, low self esteem and they didn't feel unfulfilled by doing that. In fact, they felt more fulfilled by doing that because they were doing the most important job and that's raising their children, raising the next generation. I find women today, um, especially women my age, are extremely insecure and superficial. They tend to buy into the lie that the left has sold us and basically the progressive left the democrats the feminists they are selling women this lie that <clears throat> there's this big happy fantasy world out there that you're missing out on when you're a good woman who takes good care of their children raises their children spends time with their children is a stay-at-home mom or just works and comes straight home and takes care of their children they have you know they're brainwashing women and selling women these lies that if you stay at home and raise your children or you know if you make your life all about your kids and your husband that you're boring um you're missing out and um you know that kind of thing and it's just really sad because I don't know what the generation is gonna be like that my children are growing up in when they get my age with the way that their mothers are um, I know a lot of acquaintances who have children and a lot of them it's very rare for me to find one that thinks and acts just like me it's very very rare most of them have bought into what they see in movies, what they see in these stupid ass reality TV shows, um, and what they hear from these feminists. They, I have a few um, acquaintances that have been stay at home moms, and some that uh, work just enough and, and go home and you know raise their children. And they'll tell me things like, "Society makes me feel insecure." You know, people are telling me that. There's um, a bigger, better world out there. Put your children in daycare. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about you being happy. Happy moms make happy kids and that kind of thing. And it's just really sad. And um, I hear a lot of women tell me, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I feel unfulfilled. I feel like this. You know, I just want more with my life. I want to know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. And the thing is, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now and that's living your life you're alive right now in this moment whatever you're doing right now is exactly what you're supposed to be doing you're just living your life you know there's not this big exciting life life is not all about excitement partying having fun it's about survival and it's about making things great for our next generation making sure the species continues and it's you know better in the next generation than it was in the generation uh previous to that one and that's what it's all about they have um women just so completely 
ruined today. I just don't know how we're going to recover from it because women are so important in our society. We give birth, we're the nurturers, and they're turning women into um, just stone bone nutcases. And there's a lot of women today that are wondering why there's such a lack of marriage and commitment from men in our society today. And I'm going to tell you right now, I believe the reason is because I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to marry the average woman today if I was a man. I'm just being straight up with you. I'd be scared to death. I would um I'd be concerned about them trying to put me on child support, you know, them trying to take me for everything I have, them cheating on me, running off with another man that has more money than me. Um you know, uh I would want a woman that would be secure with her, herself, not give a shit what other people think of her, um, satisfied with herself, doesn't need to go out and feel like she needs to party all the time and uh, worry about what other people think, um, you know, that kind of thing. A woman that's not afraid to go cook a meal and, and clean a house without feeling oppressed and, you know, by society or men. It's just ridiculous. But I would be afraid if I was a man to get married because there is such a small amount of women out there that are decent today. And that's just being real. Um, I'm a woman. I have no problem saying that. I know there's exceptions to every rule. And like I say all the time, I feel like I'm one of those exceptions. I know there's other women out there like me. I just don't come across them very often. I don't meet them very often. It's very rare. And that's sad. That's sad to me. And that's why I'm not, I don't have female friends. I don't have tight female friends. And that's the reason. They're too jealous, too insecure. They'll try to backstab you every chance they can get, sabotage your life, compete with you. And I just don't have time for that. The number one thing in my life, and I'm not afraid to say it, is my children. My children mean the world to me. That is what I live for. And I have no problem saying that. I've had people tell me, oh, um, you know, you need to come first to yourself. Life's not all about raising your children. You would have a lot more fun in your life if you uh, did more for yourself, take more time for yourself and that kind of thing. Yes, we all need a break here and there, but when I became a mother, to me, it's it's the most selfless job. It's it's not about me anymore. It's not about my wants and needs. It's about my child's. And I have no problem with that. I don't feel insecure. I don't feel sad. I don't feel like I have this boring life and I'm never going to get to do anything and I'm held down. When I, I have two children, but my youngest is two. When he comes up to me and, and we snuggle and he tells me, Mommy, I love you. I just melt like it's the most it's that's the reward right there like I am just so happy in that moment and proud in that moment and I think about my children all the time when I'm not around them that is my life I you know that is what I live for and someday when they get older and have a family I will be living for my grandchildren I see nothing wrong with that and my children are so well-mannered so disciplined and uh, so intelligent. Um, I never put them in daycare. You know, I pinched where I had to, and I gave up a really good career one time when I had my first child, my daughter, to stay at home to stay at home with her in the beginning. I went back to work, you know, when she wasn't a baby anymore. But I stayed home with her in the beginning, um, and I gave up a career because of that. I had a pretty good career at the time, and. One thing I know is I could always get another career, but I can't get that time back instilling those values in my firstborn and raising her and being there with her. And that was very important to me. And I had a lot of people telling me at the time, put her in daycare. That's what everybody else does. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to be at home. That's so boring. You won't have a life. You're going to let yourself go. And, um, you know, and, and society would make you feel bad like you were lazy, like people would say at the time when I was staying at home with my daughter, oh, you're a stay-at-home mom, what do you do all day? Oh, you must be in pajamas all day, is that boring? Actually, I was more busy being at home with my daughter than I was when I was 
in my career, to be honest with you. And that's what a good mother does. You have a schedule all day, you're busy all day. You know, it was a full-time job and I took care of the house, I took care of my husband, um, took care of the yard, the garden, the grass, you know, the washing the cars, running the errands, cooking the meals, cleaning up after everyone, doing the laundry. It's a full-time job and I had no problem doing that. And I and I, I tell people that today there's when a woman, you know, an acquaintance of mine or a family member has a baby, I'll give them advice on that, you know. Pinch where you can and try to stay at home while your children are young because you don't get that time back. And you don't get, when you put them in daycare, someone else is raising them. You know, that's fair to say. Someone else is raising them and instilling values in them. You know, our grandmother's generation, they stayed at home with their children. And I'm telling you now, those women were a lot more secure with themselves and strong than women are today. Women today have bought into feminism, the progressive left, and they've told women that you need to have a career, um, put yourself first, plan your family, don't let children get in the way of your dreams and your hopes. If you have a child and you don't want them, you can kill them, go to Planned Parenthood, or take birth control and you know, plan your family. Have your baby when you want to. Don't let a baby get in the way of your career though. Sleep around with as many men as you want. Don't settle down. Don't be oppressed by men. And I'm telling you now, the women that I know that have bought into that lie and that have these high powered careers, they sleep around. They, um, you know, try to live like they think men live. And I'm telling you now, those women that I know personally that do this are the most insecure and unhappy women that I have ever, ever met in my life. All right, hands down. And then I know a lot of them who have bought into that and have tried to put off having kids until later in life when they have their career straightened out and, and this and that. And now they come to find they can't get pregnant um, when they're ready to because they waited too long. You know, they're in their 40s and they're having trouble conceiving. So now they're depressed that they can't have a child later in life. So it's, it's just really sad that um, society today is, you know, especially these feminists and the left are telling women that it's bad to want to be a good mom, stay at home with your children, raise your children yourself and do things with your children and be all about your children. They have told women that that is boring um, and, and they make women feel very bad about themselves that do that. But we need to realize that's what women did back in the day and those generations, you know, those people were the most responsible people. You know, back in the day, like my grandmother's generation, every teenager had a part-time job after work. They bought their own cars. They bought everything for themselves. You know, teenagers today typically do not have a part-time job. Typically. I did, but most didn't. And their parents would buy them a new car. And their parents would pay their phone bill. Their parents would let them live at home until they freaking 25 years old and not work and do nothing with themselves. It's ridiculous. And I think it's all, it all has to do with the family not being intact the lack of marriages, people, women buying into the progressive feminist beliefs and, um, you know, we're just not doing things like we did back in the day and, and it's ruining people straight up. And I really don't know where things are going to go from here, but it's, it's only going to get worse. And I just, you know, wanted to talk about that in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now and I guess I will see you back on my next video. Bye.